guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i did these really cute glass jelly nails these are perfect for spring and i also think that this would be a really cute set for valentine's day if any of you guys want to screenshot and save these for next year <laughs> um i thought that these would be really cute for valentine's day i started off recording after i did the shape and everything today so if you're new here and want to see the process before this go check out one of my other videos but i am going to start off by prepping i am using dehydrator right now and then i'm going to use bond after this i use mia secrets it's going to be linked down below in the description box for you guys in my amazon list as well as the tips i use and um the nail drill and a bunch of other things that i use for nails um we did coffin today by the way, I have a coffin tutorial up on my channel. It is one of my older videos. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, go check that video out. And then after this, I am going to get right into application. So first, I'm going to take a little bit of clear acrylic. I'm using Mia Secrets, which you can find in my Amazon list. And I'm also using a not polish number 12 nail brush and not polishes monomer um my discount code is sid if you guys wanted to save some money when you shop with them you guys know that's my favorite brand and if you didn't know then now you know i recommend not polish to everybody um after i stick all my hearts where i like i'm going to take more clear acrylic on the rest of the fingers and add iridescent flakes to each of those um, the iridescent flakes I'm going to be using are from Hobby Lobby.
once me and my client are both happy with what each of the nails look like i'm going to take me a secrets clear acrylic again and encapsulate each of these nails
this is what my application looks like once I'm all finished. Next, I'm going to be reshaping the nails. So, as you know, if you watched my last video, you know I eliminated the step where I file over top of the nails to, like, smooth them out. Now, I just go side to side and then I use the e-file to smooth out all the nails and make sure there's no bumps or lumps. And then after I e-file, I flip the nail over and then I shape the top of the nail to make sure it's like super crisp. Um, and that's like my new process, y'all. So again, if you don't quite understand, I file each of the sides, just the sides, and then I use the e-file to seal my cuticles and even the nails are all over. Make sure there's no bumps or lumps, take away any unwanted thickness and all of that. And then I flip them over once I'm happy and then file the top to make sure they are crisp. This is what the shape looks like after me filing to the side jaw, and then this is what they look like after being e-filed and me shaping the top so that they're crisp. Now I'm going to be adding the jelly color. So this jelly color is from the Nail Cakery. Um, I don't know what the color is, but it's going to be linked down below in the description box. I bought her whole like cake jelly uh, polish collection. Um, it's like pastel colors. They're so pretty. I am going to link them down below for y'all. So you can grab them if you'd like. Um, and then I'm going to do two coats of that. Then after that, I'll be applying the top coat and obviously cuticle oil. And then we will be all done.
is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you recreate these, tag me in a picture on Instagram so I can repost. Make sure you guys follow me on there if you aren't already. And like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. And thank you guys again so much for watching.